It's all right. Hopefully this audio is good enough to cut it. Hopefully that works. Check. What's happening, Paz? How you doing, dude? What up, man? Yeah, just, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, just out here. And Hell yeah. Yeah. Might have to beat that out, but it's all right. We're not starting yet. Oh, shit. It's all right, though. It's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't mention it. Can't. Yeah, I don't want any fans, you know? <laughs> I don't want to know where we're at. I was going to, like, you know, bring the grill and the tortillas and carne asada, but this is too... Empanadas. This is how you been, man? Pretty good, dude. How's everything? Pretty good. Yeah? I, mean, I think uh, we're set. Let me just make a little introduction, dude. I know you're waiting, but the food ain't good in front of the cook. So started doubting, but you know it's going in the books. Hey, hey, I know you fucking with the shit. Hey, hey, I know you fucking with the click. Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ice Music Podcast. This is episode 118. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 118 of the Ice Music Podcast. I don't have Tony Slums. T minus Tony Slums. So you can insert yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? What right up, here. What up? A shout out to Tony <laughs> Slums for him. For now, for, you know, she's here, in, she's here in mystery, but. I got to do this episode. It's episode 118. His hair and soul and spirit. Yeah. <laughs> and the intro's always, the intro's always off when it's not Tony's, when he's not here. Yeah. I got, I got, I got used to him saying, like, what up, what up, what up, what up. But uh, yeah, shout out to Tony Slums. Episode 118 of the Agnes Podcast. Welcome. What up, Paz? What up? What up? It's cracking. Uh, How's everything? Uh, pretty cool, dude. Yeah. Just been chilling, yeah. working. You know? <laughs> finally here, finally here, dog. We finally got this shit done. Yeah, finally. Oh, finally dude, we're getting the past this shit two days done. we're like fucking trying to set this up. Yeah. I don't know if it worked. <laughs> it's been an asshole, but we got it, we got it going now. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, let's get this shit going, dude. This is fucking weird, yeah. odd, but I'm ready. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking ready. How's everything, dude? Pretty good. I, I mean... like how the podcast was going before I did the introduction. Like yeah. that was more, more <laughs> us relaxed. Because then when I have to do the introduction, I get thrown off. I'm like, all right, fuck. Nah, yeah, and then, like, <laughs> nah, like I was I just, thrown off for a second. Yeah, like, like, it, it throws me off too. Because before the introduction, I was just I was talking, you know, how we normally talk. Because we know each other. We're going, we go way back. Yeah, we go way back. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It's yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't think people realize that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do which we do because you've been okay. dropping gems music for a while. Yeah. For uh, everybody doesn't know, this is Paz, right? Paz Elpana. Yeah. The fella who smokes marijuana. I don't know. You need to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah. right, dude. Yeah, man. Blue socks, by the way. Yeah, red, man. Red jacket. Fuck yeah. I dude. don't know what's going on, but yeah, yeah. it's all right, dude. Me neither. Me neither. Like I said, hopefully this fucking plane doesn't get in our way. <laughs> if it gets in our way, let us know. Comment. Let us know if it, you know if you can hear us. But you dropped an album. Yeah, yeah. You dropped an album. That's why we linked up. Yeah. We're talking music. So, besides the besides the you know homie so, shit, there's still industry stuff, music stuff that needs to be talked about, needs to be promoted, needs to be you know what I mean? Yeah, man. You dropped an album or a little so three records? Yeah, a little a little EP. Yeah. If you want to say, like a little three piece song, like three piece songs, you know, like little three songs right there, like yeah, um. I just dropped it the twenty fifth. Yeah, twenty fifth. So that was a couple days Friday. Yeah. Friday, yeah, Friday. So that was that was pretty cool. Is that a sequel? A sequel to another record? Because I feel like I heard this. What's the title? So it's called Two Days. Two Days, right? Two Days. So I did it like sort of based. Like I titled it sort of based off uh, an event that I had. Right. Uh, that's which, what I got. That's what came to uh, mind first. Like it was, it was called Two Days. Right. I used to host uh, music, uh, music events, where I would even either do it on a Friday or a Saturday or even a Sunday, and I would just call them Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, you know. Yeah. And one time i had this i had this idea where i was like you know what like what if we do a two day two day little show two day fest kind of thing and i you know it was a fridays and a saturdays and i was like man so that's two days and then that's when i was like two days Oh shit! Two days, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, and I was yeah. That's that's how it kind of came about. But the days with the Z. Yeah, days with the Z. With the Z know, days yeah. out, and I was like, which which uh, represents you. I mean, because that's what you are. You know, I mean, you're not you're not fading away from who you are <laughs> with this fucking plane going by. It's Got all right. I can hear you though. <laughs> they can hear me. Nah. But, and I started thinking too. I was like, oh shit. Uh, 
this is for myself because I'm gonna have to go back and read the lips <laughs> when I fucking edit these videos. I was like, oh shit, I don't know where I'm gonna start start the fucking uh, when I edit the video. I look at the video with the audio. I was doing this, and I'm just like, ah oh, shit, you know? Yeah, uh, that's gonna be hard when I start this shit because I was I was max masked up, I had mask when, uh, yeah. when we first started it. But whatever. I mean, um, COVID free, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm COVID free too. We good, we good. <laughs> I think. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows at this point? Uh, but uh, what were we talking about two days? Yeah, two days. I was saying you don't you don't shy away from what you were what you were doing. Nah, like you know, like the two days, like. It was just that shit was just fun, you know. It was a very out of control show, and everybody was dazed out too. Yeah. So it it was like it was just fun, like and to see all those people come together and everything, uh, like uh, all artists, you know. There was just like get them out on the flyer. Right. I even I think I even brought somebody down from San Diego too, and somebody else from LA came too. Yeah. Like you know, people came out to to it in the valley, and I was very surprised. I was like, whoa! Like this turnout is insane. Yeah. Like you know, and from there, like I just kind of like you know, I thought to myself like, well, I mean. Two days is kind of like sort of like a like a I don't want to say too much like a brand yeah you know but like but it's a brand yeah (laughs) it sort of is you know like I have this whole other you know brand sort of in mind right that so I guess you could say that's part of that right you know and uh, but yeah two days is uh, you had asked me if it was like a sequel no I asked you it was like more like you were you don't you don't fade away from. I don't, I don't like what you're about <laughs> like I don't want to like you know I don't want to give away what you're about but you like to like you know what I mean you, yeah, you're outside I, what we were talking about earlier is that you're outside you like to you know what yeah, I mean yeah I mean I'm I'm a very dazed out person yeah yeah you really know me then. <laughs> right <laughs> you know yeah 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 you know, like you know that it's but don't get that wrong because you still the work speaks for itself because you're still putting out the music and the lyrics yeah like I seen you you know I, it, grow. It, it was it was very interesting because the three songs, like how it came together, was weird. That's that's one way I can say it. How uh, to come together? So first, the first song. So yeah. the first song is Two Days. Uh, it's produced by Andrew. Uh, Tylenol. Tylenol is it? Tylenol I don't know. Or is it Tylenda? I, I just look at it as Tylenol. I, let's call him Ty, Tylenol. Though. Yeah. Like fucking Motrin. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, it was it was produced by him and. He had sent me this pack of beats. Uh, still got a couple I still really want to work on. But yeah. I heard this one, and I was like, man, this sounds like some video game shit, some retro weird weird shit. And I was fucking with it. <laughs> and, you know, like, I, I during this whole uh, quarantine, this whole pandemic, I had to sort of invest in a little home studio. Yeah, man. So being held up in that little room... Like, there was a Tuesday, and this happened on the Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just, you know, I was drinking a little bit. You know, that's kind of like in the beginning. Right. Like sipping a little something got me feeling myself. And that's how it happened. I just fucking started, you know, from there, started writing it, more typing it, actually, on my, <laughs> on my notes. Yeah. And from there, I was like, you know what? Like, let's just, let's, let's give this shit a try. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a try, and... It just it took I ain't no front. It took me a little bit of takes. So Tuesday is Tuesday is part of Tuesday. Is yeah, a yeah, play, yeah, little so play right there. Yeah, so yeah. It was like uh, doing the show on a Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesdays, and I was like, all right, fuck it, like two days. This is, this is the theme. Like, yeah. We're going for right. And I did it, and I could say I was a, a bit doubtful on the song. I was a little skeptic about it because I was like, I don't know if this is really something that's really going to catch people's attention, you know, like, I don't, like, and at, at first, the song, I, I thought I was just going to release it as a single. I was like, I'm just going to put it on the side and see what happens. Like, at this point, I didn't even really have a project mapped out. You right. know what I mean? Then, there's that song, uh, I Don't Really Care. Now, that song was just crazy because... Shout out first shout out to Tony Slums. Yeah, shout he out. produced it. I was locked in with him in the studio. He was uh mastering some songs for some upcoming shit. I can't say. I'm gonna get to him later too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh 
Because he kind of, he, he, he kind of yeah, was kinda, working with he, you, yeah, forming into you. Yeah, he pushed me. Like, he, it was after I showed him all the stuff that I had. Right. Like, I was, I was, had this idea for this, you know, this kind of bigger project. But when he saw, he saw, he was like, bro, you have a lot of content <laughs> for you to release some, some, some stuff, you know, like little by little. And, you know, like, you know, people want to hear something because they're held up in you know in places or like you know everyone's paying attention to their phone more like you know so it was like you 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 know you could release something and i was all right so i don't really care that song i didn't even know first off i didn't even know that i even had access to that and the what i'm saying is he shared it he shared the beat to me a, a good while like a very like a minute ago, right. you know, and I didn't even realize that I had that. And it wasn't up until he brought it up that he was like, oh, what do you think about this? You know, he played it and he played me the hook and he was like, yeah, I freestyled that that on there. And I was like, dude, this shit is hard. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then he was like, yeah, I sent that shit to you like a long time ago. I was like, bro, <laughs> like I thought, and, and see, that's the thing, when I would see that, <laughs> oh shit, we got a fucking airplane. Goddamn airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Everybody you can't see it, oh, but yeah. I honestly hope those people have a safe trip. Let's let's yeah, put it that man. way too, you know. I think about the same uh, thing every time <laughs> I, I look at him. Yeah. And then uh he was he was like, dude, I shared it and I was like, bro, let's do something. Like, you know, I still have some time in a session mm -hmm. and then he played it. And I just started freestyling. Like, we just started, like, he was like, just freestyling. And just, you know, like, started freestyling it. You know, like, little, little Frankensteins, mm -hmm. you know, like, freestyle here and there. And then we, he put it together. And then he just, I don't know what he did to it. Like, he just fucking tuned the fuck out of it. He made it just sound so different. Crispier, like, as you yeah, would say. Yeah, and it, and... The thing was, it, we were just having fun. Like right. it was just like I was just fucking around. We're just doing this, and he just made me feel like when he when we heard the final product of it, like you know, we were fucking laughing our asses off like the whole time we were making it. But when we got to like the final product, we were like, bro, this shouldn't even sound this good. Like this, this shouldn't even. <laughs> you know like how the fuck did this even come together right. and when it did like we heard it this one was like yo that shit is hard like it was a part in it that he was very like yo like it sounded so good how we like how you did it there and it just came together and we had it and it was like all right we have a whole other new song right you know and he was like you know you should like i i was like yo should we put this in the first project and he was like yes like and i was like all right cool i'm gonna put it and that's when the two days i was like you know what like i think i'm gonna include this one too and then there's the third song the step by step i actually don't recall <laughs> like that more like i don't recall that session right you know like i don't I don't remember when I really did that. I know it was done at Slum. Step by step is done with Tony Slums or Slim? It's with Slim the Sage. It's Slim, all right, yeah. Yeah, and that one is a bilingual track. It's produced by Andrew as well. Right. Oh, yeah, I don't really care if it's produced by Slums. I, I don't know. So, the, so it was more than three records? So it was, it was cut down to three records. Yeah, it was cut down. Like the, pro, the first project I was going to release was going to be like eight right. songs. You know? right. Then it was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it was like, uh, like uh, you know, the three songs. Uh, it was, I guess, something Manners had broke down to him, and he broke it down to me, and it was like, uh, you know, like you're, you're releasing like just like a little bit of songs or something right. like it's kind of like people are going to pay attention to that more than like releasing a full-blown project like that you know like people come uh, become too distracted so fast yeah that they want to like you know they hear something and they want to switch it to something else so if you have a little three you know three song project it's like okay like it's just three songs 
fuck it, let's hear it. You know, let's hear what this is about. And you, you sort, it sort of grabs your attention more. As how, I, I, I think that's how you broke it down to me. And I was like, oh shit, like okay. And since prior to that, yeah, the project, attention span, people's yeah. attention span is like fucking. And then like, since, so like prior album. to that, I had released a song called Libre yeah. that I had produced. Uh, I had chopped up a sample from. Uh, chopped this record uh got a sample from uh ohio players yeah don't sue me <laughs> <laughs> i know right but, they're gonna watch but this. uh ohio players and uh it was a song called free yeah and it just like when i started making that beat it just it started speaking to me i was like yo let's fucking do this and bilingual yeah Wait, you were bilingual yeah, it was, uh, where, where uh, you from again Oh, uh, well, I'm from Brawley. I'm but from yeah, Brawley, your roots. California, but my roots are like from Puerto Rico yeah. and they're also from Mexico. Like okay. I'm just more 75% Puerto Rican and I guess 25% Mexican, yeah. I want to say. And you you represent that in your music. Yeah, like a lot. I, yeah. I represent my roots like, you know, like I Yeah, like mm -hmm. you know like obviously I'm still American, but my roots is Mexican and Puerto Rican mostly. And, yeah. Yeah, like I thought about because we said bilingual. Yeah, That's yeah, what, you know. yeah. Like, and it, it's funny because you know uh, people who are Mexican or Puerto Rican. Whenever I, I, you know, I do my music, they're like, "Where are you from?" Right. Because like you don't sound like you're Puerto Rican. You don't sound like you're Mexican. Like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> and I'm like, oh well, I am Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. And I'm also from the valley. So my Spanish is a fucking mixture of right. that, you know? I saw it because I think your Instagram feed, you were fucking, you went out of town, you went overseas at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I so had, you were, uh, and it's crazy, during this quarantine yeah. pandemic shit, I flew out to Puerto Rico. Right. Uh, I, oh, I, did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, my grandfather passed away. Oh, so, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. Like, we went out there and it was like, you know, spend some time with family. Uh, it was also, I took my girlfriend. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're out there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was very cool. It was also like, I, it was needed. It was like, I needed to be with my roots. I needed to be like there, you know? Yeah. And get like a, sort of like a breather from like everything else going on here. Yeah, all the chaotic you know? shit, and yeah. It was like, it was it was very cool. It was very worth it. Uh, yeah. Jumping yeah. around because I mean you know my hear bilingual and then I hear the, you know yeah, your and, That's why and I bring that, that up. And I'm like, that okay. that like like an example like slums always <laughs> always says oh, my Spanish is way better than my English. Yeah. And I was like oh shit it is. And then I have people who tell me like oh yo your English is way better than your Spanish and I'm just like fuck dude like. Well they can gravitate to both. Yeah. I mean like and. Uh, and uh, I realize this, like, you know, people think my Spanish shit is harder that really speak Spanish. And then people who don't really speak English, they think my English shit is harder <laughs> because they understand my Spanish and they're like, yeah. what? What's like, dope is you could bounce around, like, from different beats, too, though. Yeah. you got the, you know, the... the yeah, and, and, and that's... Sort of the, that's like, the... Poppy beats and then <laughs> dancey beats. Yeah, and that's... that's and the, the hard beats. The, that's tricky, I'll yeah. say that, because, like, switching up from Spanish to English, like... Sometimes it just flows. Right. Sometimes it's just like, fuck, like, how how do I still keep your attention? You know, because somebody who don't speak Spanish, you know, like they hear a Spanish song and they're like, oh, I don't understand shit, you know? <laughs> but that shit so, is in right now. Yeah. And, I mean, and then I figured out, I was like, you know, there is my legs. like, you know, they, they, they listen to Spanish, but yeah. they listen to the rhythm, the flow. So it's like, okay, like, I want to integrate both. On my previous project on the Conscious Ignorant that I had released a year ago, I did it mainly in English, but the last song was in Spanish. So what I wanted to really start doing and integrate more was switching, like having both English and Spanish on the song. Right. So it, like, to some people, they would think that it's another person, you know, that is rapping, but really it's, it's me. Or could you change up your voice? Yeah, I, you and, and fuck with it. And yeah, that's yeah. Another thing I started doing too was like I started fucking with my voice more. I started uh, like, like uh, I just started experimenting more because right. I was like, you know, like I don't want to be like others. I want to be something original, something different, something that just makes you like. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. 
pause on that real quick. Pause on that second. Yeah, we got another fucking airplane. <laughs> Shouts out to Southwest Airlines. This is not a sponsor, but, you know, we'll be there soon once we go on tour. So, you know, shouts out Southwest Airlines if you hear this. Yeah, yeah. Conscious Ignorant. Conscious Ignorant. Yeah, so you, that's another album, too, that you dropped. So, yeah. So that's another, you brought that up right now, and that's, that reminded me of that album. That's a full length album. Yeah, that was full length. That yeah. was pro- like those pro- like people who produced on that was Slums, Enzo. Shout out to Enzo the Mine. Yeah. You know, like, and uh, yeah, like, I think there was another producer. His name is D Watt. I still need to talk with that guy. Right. right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we put we put that together, and I got feedback on that. I got some good feedback, and you know, some. But just in general, it's all good feedback. Right. You know? and like it was a constructive criticism to it, and it made me kind of like, sh- sort of like plan and shape my shit better to like know when it is like the time to release things not like a lot yeah that that whole album i was more in a weird state like weird kind of state of mind very out there yeah very <laughs> sauced up days <laughs> yeah that, that that whole album is an actual fucking days like. yeah but what i guess like i wanted to show was since this title conscious ignorance so it's like it's sort of like speaking of the ignorance and right. also speaking of consciousness and speaking of how, you know, we're conscious about ignorance, but sometimes we still decide to be ignorant and choose, you know, to do that. And it's right. like explaining my ignorance side, like all out. In the form of a consciousness? Yes. In a form <laughs> that it makes you conscious about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and how that one came together that. was a fucking weird like that one i worked on it for like i don't want to say a year but like it took a good minute to make that yeah made it i released it and that really took it to a whole other level too because i was doing shows i was doing a good amount of shows in the valley i did shows out in san diego i also did a show out in uh damn uh, i I really want to say where i did the show at like why not? Uh, no, I, I do want to say. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I did, I did this sh- uh, show out in. Uh, I think I did one in Max, but the one that I really, really had me like, oh shit, I did a show out in, in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And fucking five hour drive, just fucking going out there and like, hey. just like what well, we don't even fucking know what's going on. And <laughs> I pulled up and shout out to. Uh, by the way, uh, shout out to. F- fuck, I'm just gonna say four four D. But it's fourth dimensional hitchhiker, something, 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 something. Yeah. Spencer Bonds, their whole team. Uh, shout out to them because they, uh, it was 4D who really invited me and was like, yo, like, I really fuck with your shit. I, you know, like, would you be down to come and do a show out here? And I had met him at a show that I did in, I think it was in La Mesa at some Aztec brewery. Damn, I don't remember where. Yeah, you were moving. Yeah. You were moving. Yeah, yeah. I was always, you have to I was, do. yeah, I was always trying to do my best to yeah. get like shows going and mm-hmm. like, but mainly outside of the valley, even though like I still wasn't really well known in the valley and I feel like I still am not, you know, but it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, it's not, that's not really what, like, why are you doing it? Yeah. Like, why you it's into just it, yeah. like if, when, when it happens, it'll happen. Right. You know? So it's like, everything is just moving at its pace and like, I'm pretty grateful on it and whatnot, but that Tucson show was very crazy because from there, uh, the homie 4D, I also did a, a Palante. Palante music video came out there. We were in the desert, in the fucking de- in a random ass <laughs> desert in the middle of fucking nowhere. I was like, dude, where the fuck are we? And a music video? Out here? Yeah. You're saying, okay. Yeah, yeah we, were just, we were just fucking lit. Like, yeah. You know, and uh, homie Tamaskin. Uh, so, uh, homie Tamaskin, he, uh, uh, who's, who's affiliated with, uh, 40 and them, yeah. he really fucked with that song heavy, and he was like, yo, can I, I had released that song, uh, like, on SoundCloud, Yeah. so the version that I released on iTunes and Spotify and everything was sort of like a remix, I just didn't really include saying remix, but it included him, too, and he was like, y'all really want to get on this, and I was like, I was, that's when it. I realized I was like, "Yo, 
somebody actually fucks with my bilingual shit, like from Spanish to English, because that was the first song I actually did that went back and forth. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like if this dude really fucks Someone with Someone eventually dude. will. Yeah, and I was like, okay. Yeah. Like, so from there it started, you know, like Palante came out, and then we had a Nobody single. Uh, the Nobody single was the single that I had with Slim the Sage and Enzo Mine. And that's like the Voss stuff, <laughs> like the whole other group stuff, you know. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. You've been working. Like, there's a lot of records that you've been putting out that, yeah, like a lot. Like I don't say the story that it, it's weird. It goes though, on and yeah, on the it's list. It's weird though because like when I feel it, it's like I've you know the one feels like you've done a lot, but you really still haven't done enough. Yeah, you know, and it's something that's like I realize is like I can't like you can't be satisfied. Right. You know, even if the, the you know small victories, they count. Like you should cherish them, enjoy them. So the bigger shit, you can fucking like really, really appreciate it even more. Yeah. You know, and like there, there's you know there's times like even releasing this project, and I still got a lot of stuff coming up. I still feel like I'm not satisfied yet. You know, because. It's somehow still pushing. You're always progressing, me. progressing yeah, in what it, you're doing. Because yeah. this record, these, this record sounds, you know, yeah. you're saying better than the other ones. It, it did. Yeah. It really did. Like I was fucking mind blown. Yeah. Like I was like, wow, this actually sounded very good. And right. the feedback, like people really fucking with it. I was like, yo, like, okay, we're onto something here. Yeah. You know, that was like, how do I really? What, what do I really do? I mean, we're in quarantines and p pandemics and fuck a mess. Which put everything. a hold to, like, what you were doing, like, to the yeah, events and the shows. It really did. Two like, days events, like we were talking about before. Yeah, I, like, had, I had another one for March and another one for the summer, and yeah. they didn't happen because of everything that was going on, and it was like, fuck, dude. So, and since, you know, like, the whole pandemic going on, like... You gotta keep your creativity produced, juices. Like, yeah, I couldn't really <laughs> link up in the studios with people yeah so it was like all right i gotta invest in my own shit and then i got fired oh yeah yeah <laughs> so i used to work at this and it's, it's just people out i mean yeah i mean it's i used to work at a clinic this eye clinic right fuck them <laughs> 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 nah, good good people but fuck management i will say that when we talk always fuck man i mean it happens <laughs> but uh I used to work there and you yeah. know like god yeah, I was laid off before the pandemic started. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, okay. Like, everything that I have, I got invested now into right. this. And, like, which it was sort of like a... I didn't actually... Like, I felt bad, but it also made me feel really good because it was like I now have the time to really invest into what I want to do. Do like, a lot this, more, yeah, yeah. This shit's happening for a reason, I shouldn't think of it negative. Like, this should be something, if, even if it was a negative thing, I should turn this into v something very positive. Yep. There's something that this oh, this one guy said. It was like a uh, box cutter or something. I don't know. Shout out to that guy. But uh, What did he say that? On Instagram? He, or no, Twitter? he said it in person. Oh, in person? I, uh, I think I was there with Young Manners book. Yeah. Uh, and, At a show? Yeah, it was like a, I think they were showcasing or showing a video, a cypher effect. Right. And uh, they were showing a cypher and we pulled up and we were just checking it out. Uh, A to Z had invited us out there, I believe so. And we pulled up, we were out there and we were checking it out and, you know, the whole night going on. And I think when we were about to leave this day, this dude, that box cutter guy, I think that's his name. I don't want to be wrong, but... He came up and he was like, man, like, I, I remember catching the convo because he was talking more with manners. But oh, I was just, right. I just happened to be around him when, you know, I was just like listening to everything he was saying and speak knowledge like, or whatever. Yeah. And he yeah. was like, you know, we got to like, you know, what we're doing out here is we're turning the negative into something positive. And that made me like really, really take that like in cons like, you know, in consideration. And it made me really start to like, look at shit was like yeah man like you know like all this negative shit that goes on in our life we could turn it into something positive we could turn it into art we can like turn it into it like I don't know make something out of it like You've always been a positive guy, though, man, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, well, sort of. <laughs> one more since I've known you. Yeah, I mean, well, like, not, I'm not saying I know you, but, like, you know. Yeah, like, I, I guess I but do my shit, best. But, but, like, I feel you when, like, something hits you, it's, like, it's hard to be, like, positive. Yeah, when there's like, fucking when negative reality all, all hits, around. When reality <laughs> really hits, it's, like, fuck. Yeah. Like, it's one of those giant fucks, yeah, yeah. you know? 
But at the same time, fucking COVID, it's yeah. like, you know, like it ain't all that negative. There's a nah. positive side to 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 it all. You know, like sometimes shit really happens for a reason, and and it's like you gotta look at a bigger picture to it, and you gotta like, you know, like. You gotta stop being afraid. Yeah, like if we're giving out advice. Can, like if a bar wire is presented to you, yeah. like in your in your course in your path, like we should like you know we need to do our best to get over those bar wires. You know, there's always a way around things. Yeah, you know? and like we shouldn't really like uh, I guess you want to say we shouldn't really think that nothing good is gonna come out. You know, like we shouldn't give up. We shouldn't quit. Like. Like, you know, like shit gets hard and it gets tough and it gets fucking insane and crazy. And sometimes you just want to like end things and run away from it and shit. And But it's really life testing you to see how bad do you want it? How bad do you like where you want to get to? Like, how bad do you really want that? Are you going to give up on the way? Are you going to like actually take over? Are you going to fly like this fucking plane? <laughs> <laughs> As we learn, y'all on the ego trip, snapping like you missed your turn. Stank attitude, and y'all too spoiled. Five star everything, wondering the level after war. Stay humble, still loyal, but I scorn you, fumble. Alert spoiler, she don't dance for y'all for me. She get twerking. Go ahead, baby, get loose, and I get toast on the roof. I blend in with the underworld, do what I choose. The point is not to lose, then I think I'm a dope. Well rounded enough to know where I grew up. Local legends and a few old rats A couple losers who come close but never bounce back A few stragglers who just share that ass some cash A couple shallow they gon' give you a chance A few will hold it down I mean, there's great days, man, though, if I hear you on that Like, today is a great day, it's beautiful outside That's why we're outside That's why I wanted to do this outside, man Because it's hard today, also being locked inside when you're locked is, inside It is, and I think that's Past what's also getting lines. to people yeah. Is, you know, being inside and like you know like Plus I don't go to the valley So it's hard to do the podcast right now Yeah it is it, It's <laughs> fucking hot over there Yeah you know? Like it's still hot And we're already what Like getting to October It's, it's ridiculous it's Like fuck. Yeah And it's Yeah I mean I guess Like I tr- I do my best To be positive You know right. Like I'm not gonna sit here And say that You know like I'm going I'm not going through shit Or like I'm depressed at times But I, I guess it's something That I told myself Is like Man, find ways to stunt on your depression. How can you flex on your depression? Yeah, man, I always got to do like, something on it, yeah. Like, don't let depression or things, like, take over fully. Like, it's like, how can you flex on it and somehow even make... I don't know if this makes sense, but and somehow make, de- like, that depression your ally. Yeah. Like... Make it your friend and shit. Yeah, Make you it your know, friend. Rather that uh, de- that line depression to like completely fucking be something that is just controlling you or like putting you down or everything so much is like how do you how do you flex on it you know like it's sort of like making yourself into a big badass person flex on your depression dude exactly you know? <laughs> that's like, fucking dope I read a book that really inspired me and I have to give a shout out to that lady I hope one day to meet yeah. her it was Jen Sincero and it was like you are badass books and you know, people would receive you with those books they'd be like why are you even reading that shit and it's like you know self help books really help you know? oh no and doubt one man. of those that made me realize that like a lot of stuff that I talked about that just made me like yo like we are we are all badasses, you know. Yeah. Like you're a badass. Yeah. You're a fucking badass. Thank you, man. Like a hundred percent. Like you know, I'm a badass. You're a badass. Everybody dude, yeah. in the and the like artist valleys, like everybody, actually everybody in general is a badass. No, you yeah, know? Man. Like you just gotta showcase it, man. You, you gotta to, find it. You just have to, yeah. You just have to like realize it and feel it deep within, you know. Yeah. Like I feel like, yeah, that's just one of those things. You know, like it's not being egotistic at all, though. You know, like don't don't be such a fucking egomaniac. <laughs> no. Like, but um, 
That's the South, another Southwest. Shout out Southwest yeah, Airlines. Was flying today, all out. <laughs> it's Sunday, bro. But, uh, Flies everywhere. It's, Twenty minutes. It, yeah, like it's it's not really about being egotistic. It's just rising above, like your, I guess, slower self. Somehow, just like you know, you just gotta say fuck it. Yeah, man, you, I agree. You really have to say fuck it on a lot of stuff. You know, not everything, but like. We can't be taking life so serious, you know? Like, you just gotta have fun, man. Yeah. You gotta like, have fun. Well, our, our time here is short. Yeah. And anything can happen unexpectedly. I, I just had, uh, you know, somebody who lost, you know, like a friend who lost, uh, you know, her, her dude, like getting killed out in Brawley. And it just happened recently. Damn. You know, and it's like, you know, that dude, I think he was like 26 or something. That's two years older than me, you know? And it's like, when you think about it, like, I've I've known so many people who've like, you know, they lost their life to a lot of shit, like, as I'm growing up and people that I knew. And it's like, you think you're going to be here for like a long time, but you never really know when, like, the next turn that you make or something that some shit goes down that you're just not going to be able to you know when they cut the cord yeah, yeah man and i get that the stand of the story you know mm-hmm. like so it's like it's like how can like you know it's like just make the best of shit you know yeah. shit is gonna be hard and shit is gonna be tough uh but it's you have to learn to somehow keep a calm mind through it all and i think that is something that um people like people should like do best like meditations are like very good you know like being alone like not really alone but somehow like taking a day with nature no you can say alone dude i mean it's good to take some time for yourself you know go for a run go for a walk yeah yeah, yeah. to clear the mind and everything yeah man like being one with nature like that helps a lot uh and also just you know doing what you love like creating creating i feel like creating and you're everyone's always creating we're creating this podcast right yeah man that's exactly like, what i'm thinking about right now know, dude. like we create friendships yeah we create, we create opportunities but it's because the creation of, like it gets you comfortable like because like as it goes back you were too tensed up inside yeah that like, that goes metaphorically or physically because your mind is like fucking too tensed up yeah you're tensed up so when you release your you sh- whatever like you know we're about you know fucking you know Cannabis, fucking, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> fucking, you know, yeah. whatever, like, you know, psychedelics Cannabis. or whatever, like, you know, <laughs> experience the third mind or whatever. So third when you, eye. yeah, third eye, you just fucking find something that you, you can yeah. you know, grab onto and you release it. Yeah. And, and that's and, what and music is and that's what this podcasting is and yeah. that's what art is, this art form, whatever we're doing, you know? Yeah, indeed. Like this. And, and the weird, the crazy thing is like, I, I don't want to say in front, I have indulged in like doing a lot of stuff and I still do, you know, but yeah. you come to realize it's like you you really don't need those things, you know, like there's people out there who like they, they, they fucking and the, I don't even know, they're just up there with their state of mind and they never even touched something like that, you know? Yeah, that's and dope. That, that's straight that's edge just guys. crazier, you know, because it's like. You know, like, oh, damn, like, that's like a, like Middle Eastern, you know, like people fucking transcended, like, or like, you know, at an elevated higher state of themselves yeah, without yeah. the use of those things, you know, and that's, that's another thing. Mentally, like, shit, yeah, I yeah, hear what like, you're saying, man. You know, like, yeah, I, I, it's, this is weird. I, I have a very complicated relationship with things like that, but I can say that, you know, don't need those things to do stuff. You know, like, like, as an artist named Absol, big, like, very big inspiration. I, he, in an interview, he said it, and he was like, you know, like, we came, we came into this world without those things, you know, and like, pe- the people who were here way before us, like, they were stronger than us. Yeah. You know, they were hunting, they were looking for food, they were like, you know, like. They didn't really have the luxury that we have to kind of like sit around or like, you know, they're like hunting wolves and shit. Yeah, like, or wolves hunting them. Yeah, running away from fucking wolves. Yeah, yeah. Food, they had to do those things, you know. So, like, you know, like, it's not something that is like very, 
you know. And that's your consciousness. That's your yeah. other side. I mean, it's you know, like it's it's really more like yeah, it's really more like, size everything. Uh-huh. It's really yeah. like training your mind, you know, and realizing those things, and you know, there's. That like there's nothing wrong in indulging in them. It's just like you know, you sorta of have to have a right mind state with things, you know? And not get lost in it. Like I you know, there's I have friends who've gotten lost in so much shit. I've been myself lost in fucking weird weirdness, you know? And after everything, like I come to this point where I'm like, you know, we we really don't need those things, and I ain't gonna front. I still I still do. You know? Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But like, it's more like, <laughs> it's it's just different, you know. It's like if you're very ignorant and doing those things, you're gonna be faced with some very serious consequences. Fuck yeah, dude. You know, and all this shit is new, like. To, uh, like back then, thousand years ago or hundred years ago, this shit wasn't around like it is now. Like it, it was, but it just it wasn't at the level that it is. It's been processed, it's yeah, been now, packaged, it's know, been shipped. Now it's like over multiple times, and yeah. Stuff and it's like, you know, like you have to find the strength within and the strength also within your mind that you know you can do a lot of stuff and get through life and everything without those things. Now there are uses of it. Uh, like you know, like I smoke, I smoke cannabis. You know, I smoke right. weed. Like, and I, it makes me feel good. I'm not saying I need it, but like it makes me feel good, and to also keep going and dealing with shit. You know, I, and I, my respects to psychedelics. I see them as something sacred, as something that shouldn't be abused, as something that should actually you should study it and learn about it. And also, like, you know, don't just look at it for the high. If you're looking at things like that for the high, then you're doing everything wrong. Like, you have to realize stuff like that is medicine. And it's medicine for the soul, medicine for the mind, like, things like that. I don't, like, uh, other substances, I'm not really, I don't really agree much on them and things, but... I mean, it's like at the end of the day, you pick your poison, you do what you do, and like, you know, like just just be, be aware, be safe, and be smart. Be smart with things, it, yeah. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> that conversation was fucking oh shit. <laughs> it started from conscious ignorance. Yeah, that's where yeah, it started from. Yeah. I mean, cause that's what you know. And that's that's what that 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 was. You know, it, it was around to whole everything. Yeah. It was a phase where I was very ignorant. Right. And I made it made me conscious. It made me very conscious about everything. I hear that I hear that project now, and I'm like, "What the fuck <laughs> was I on?" You know? Yeah, but, it was with everything though. Everything like you make, you know, you listen yeah. back, and it's like, "Ugh, why did I make that?" Or why? yeah, yeah, but, what does that sound like that? I, but I, it also there was a lot of people who really fuck with it a lot. Yeah, like there was people who were like, "What the hell is this? This is weird." Like, oh, this don't really sound like good and I was like ah, you know like some criticism to it but there was also a big side to it that people were really fucking with it and I was like that's crazy you know so like one of the things that I learned is obviously you know release quality stuff <laughs> but you know like quality stuff yeah yeah no doubt but one of the things that I, I, I realized and I noticed this with my shows and it's something that I, I sort, of, sort of started like going for it was uh if out of a hundred people one person fucks with my shit i'm doing my job you know i'm actually doing something like you know and one out of a hundred if you really look at it there's like fucking millions of people on this planet right you know so there's a couple thousand people who fuck with the shit that you're doing you know like and it's something that when you look at it that way and it kind of like you know it makes you feel okay it no makes doubt. you feel okay because it's like there's gonna be people out there who fuck with it not saying don't release trash shit like trash shit don't like you know like it's not gonna be a good image on that but like or you get what I mean you know yeah yeah like let me see what this one is this one is a American Airlines shouts out to American Airlines it could be fucking though intimidating. It could be intimidating to release stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, I it, mean it, like fuck. It, it really can be very intimidating. I'm always intimidated. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Always, I always feel very weird. You know, like because it's just like don't really know. 
Oh, uh, with some cannabis. I uh, <laughs> don't really know if people are really going to fuck with it, you know? Like, I'm just like... Like, example, the Two Day Song. That was one of those songs that I was like, should I really release this, <laughs> you know? And I did, and people really fuck with it. You know, they're like... I I had asked, like, oh, which songs you guys fuck with, and... It got me. I mean, when the first intro, like, it's just he was just fucking around with the, you yeah, know, messing around, and, and, then, it, and fake, the bass hit, know? the bass hits, and it's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, it's one of those beats. I was like, yeah, it's, it's just, just like, fuck, this bass is heavy. Yeah, so no, but you killed, like, you killed the bass. You killed that beat. Yeah. The, beat the beat's good, but yeah. you killed the beat. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Because exactly. he... And then... Who am I, but he killed the beat. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was one of those songs... Uh, and then the other one, I don't really care. It was just like, we're doing this shit. The step by step, I actually didn't get to explain that one, but the step oh, yeah, by step, step by which step. was with the, Slim the Sage, yeah. uh, that I didn't really remember the session. We did that, and it was it was actually going to go part to another project. It was going to be part of something else that Andrew had cooking up. But it was more like, you know, Slums heard it, and he was like, let's use this. Like, this... These three, like, you know, you put this, uh, like, at the end or something, and, like, we have something. And I was very, I wasn't sure that song was really going to go because it was more of Slim's. Uh, and uh, Was that, Andrew's like, a leftover song. of it was more, his album that he yeah, just dropped recently? It, he, he, I think he has something coming out. Oh, he dropped it a year ago. I'm tripping, right? Yeah, like, a year ago, never mind. Yeah, something coming out yeah. that I think he, that he did with Andrew. Okay. And I mean, I asked Andrew and I asked Slim, I was like, yo, like, I'm going to be releasing something soon. I had another song on that uh, three piece project, but we, I'm leaving that till like later. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, it's not the right time for this song. So I was like, yo, can we, can we use this song? And they're, they're like, well, yeah. You know, I explained to them, I broke it down to them. And, uh, all right, fuck it, like, just use it. And, yeah, I was like, you know, like, some Spanish stuff at the end, like, Slim comes in, and he fucking killed it, like, with his shit and everything, and I was like, fuck, you know? So, on that one, it was like, okay, let's hit it with some Spanish, you know, like, just to, you know, for anybody who doesn't speak English to at least be able to vibe to at least a little something that I do say, yeah, you know, and... I did hit it with a little bilingual in it, so I switched up to English. I said some, so I mean, if I translated, then like you know, I'd say some. It was a perfect time to drop too, man. Yeah. It was a perfect time to drop because he's uh, Josue, Josue drop. Yeah, so, Josue, Josue. So he dropped one, and then you Josue, dropped one. Josue. So it was yeah. like that guy. It was that, good. It was it was good. That guy's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never met the guy. Hopefully, he sits I, I here soon. Him, but I met him. He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, but um, I don't know. There was just there was just some <laughs> some stuff. But was there a step know. on the drop or the, no, no, it was all good. No, right? It was just uh, like other stuff, you know. Yeah. But but that was like some stuff between him and Slim. You know? Oh shit! Yeah. All right, all right. But, Keep it off uh, camera. Yeah. Yeah, Josue Josue dropped something, yeah. and Manners is in it. Very good project, as a matter of fact. I wasn't too, I wasn't really aware that the dude is from uh, Calexico. Calexico, yeah. I didn't. I knew he was from Calexico affiliation. Right. Yeah, but I, uh, I, I knew that, but yeah. I didn't know that like he was legit from Calexico. What I got from the record it was a good introduction. I mean, it was a good intro for what, yeah, for what it, it was, was and who he was. It was pretty good and yeah. everything. I was like, oh, this is a, this is a pretty dope project, you know. <laughs> And then I think before that, there was Manners releasing his little projects. So it was like, all right. Which Manners is that one? Mi the... Cabecita Loca. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that man. was that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he he was releasing some projects. So it was like, all right, you know, like, you know, like, like, you know, things are looking pretty good for, like, you know, everybody. Like, right, I was very excited to hear his stuff because I, I happened to be there when he recorded that song, Bird Feeders. And I was there when when he made, like, when him and Slums made that. So yeah. I was very excited to hear that one. I was like, yo, like, the feeling of just being there and knowing that this is going to drop just makes me even feel pretty you cool. Feel good like, about and, it, yeah. and I was like, yo, shout out to this fool. Very creative. He's also, like, giving me inspiration with certain stuff, too. And I know I've inspired him. When just the way he works, right? Yeah. He just gives you inspiration. Yeah. And, like, that's him to manage. I know I've inspired him when it comes to shows. Because yeah. we had a show at Inferno at the beginning of the year. And I was just kind of always like, yo, like... When I do shows, it's like, bro, that be the fucking show. Like, let's, something Melio always told me was like, you hey, know, bro. like, you gotta be like, 
be about it, you know? You. And yeah. it was like every time that I did shows, since I was You're already so hi. used to doing shows right. and not everybody else as much, I was like, okay, like we're going to do our shit. And, you know, like that was a fucking spectacular show. And I know. And Brawley, the Inferno one? Yeah. And yeah. It, it, it really, it, you know, like gave that push you know and everybody did fucking phenomenal like people were saying like you guys are like the west no not you guys are like the imperial valley wu-tangs and shit and i was <laughs> like that's crazy for you to say e. and i think it was right before uh Uh-oh. oh my god what's the name of that artist that spice one yeah we did it we performed right before spice one right and then like when i got off the, you know when we got right off stage and everything like there was people coming up to me they're like yo you're like a secret weapon to that like that shit is hard like oh, we well the whole empty lot crew like you guys have yeah. your own different style and that's and that's, that's the dope sick, that's the sick thing yeah. about it because we're not all the same yo, you know no. like yeah. slim the stage is style is so different to me cabecita locas and me and and manners style is fucking way different from Milio's or like my style is way different from like everybody there and you're like, like from a different country though that like, <laughs> shit, shit like that you know but like when we're all but it's like, dope though when we did all that together yeah. it was like a mixture of all that and it was like it's something new something like we were creating something new there you know yeah i i hope there's an empty lock carnival fucking project because i know that shit would be banger like, yeah you know, everybody like we, all you guys like on one track yeah, after one track shit. or just like a mix of everything Fuck well yeah. slums will be working on that like i'm not i'm i don't speak sure. on slums but he, you know sure he fucking like Every time, every week that I listen to music or listen to new music, is that you know Tony Storm is yeah, the he, go-to because he, yeah, he has new music all the time. Yeah, but the Payday series, yeah. he stays releasing like new songs. Like I think it's like two new songs every month, right? And that's not even counting like all the other shit that's getting released from everybody else, you know. So it's. Uh, I mean, you guys say. I mean, you guys keep pretty sure you get me motivated. I'm sure you guys get others motivated. Like everybody to create, to just create. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's, it's just fun. And, and, it's it's fun. Yeah. you know, it's just like. It's very fun, like to be doing that, and uh, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm I, I, I got I, like the end of the last story. Like I did the last story about you guys are two different people or different people. Like that's fucking dope from in my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's. I, honestly, I have to give a, like I have to give a special shout out to Slim. Slim, who? Slim. Slim. All right. Because Slim's too. Though. It, yeah, yeah Slim's, the, major, whole, the whole podcast. Big time Slim's, Slim's, but Slim because I grew up with them. I right. grew up with Slim. Like, we've known each other for a hell of years now. Okay. Like, and he brought me on. He was like, you know, like, I was making music, SoundCloud, little one, two, three tracks, like, rare, Which you have you know? to start that way. And you have he to. had, yeah. he had, he actually has three mixtapes that people don't know about, or I think four, yeah. you know, that released before he started releasing his stuff on, like, his other shit, you know? Right. Like, his, uh... IPA or like his uh, scumbag world like there's other projects that he had out already so and we were already working on things like me him Enzo uh, like we were already working on you know little little songs here and there Enzo's another one that has been yeah Enzo shout out to him too he's got an appreciation from yeah, like, other people other I, people meaning slums yeah I grew up with I, <laughs> but, I sort of well, cause, yeah. cause he's been you know He's been, you know, he started if you know, and I think Slum kind of like, I think, yeah, worked with them or Slum's with both of you guys, though. Up, uh, he told me stories too. where you guys, like, you know, where you came to I mean, the studio and he had to, like, work with you guys to get yeah. to where you guys are, are now, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Beats by Enzo are fucking hard. I will tell you that. So if you ever get a chance to check this shit out, I know he's Enzo? releasing, yeah, I know he's yeah. releasing some stuff soon. So excited to hear that because it's very different from a lot of shit that we've been making. Uh, but yeah, I remember he uh, come out here. He's like, "Yeah, I'm a beat maker." I'm like, "What's this up?" Yeah, and then I start hearing his stuff now, and I just see his stuff everywhere. It's like that's, yeah, cool. that's cool. It's fucking sick. Yeah, and um, also, hold on, your stuff is easy to find though. Like when you p- type in Paz Apana, like that's right, it goes, it comes up. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like it's easy to come up, like you know, and like when uh when you drop a record, it's easy to find, and that's another yeah. thing you should be able to do is like. You shouldn't have to search out the album. You know what I mean? If it comes to yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. It, I'll come to you. 
the paths. But when you come up, it's like you're there. I mean, you're there. You distribute it. You're you're on the, the net. You know what I mean? The Paz like, Pana name came out weird. Yeah. Like, or not came out weird, but like it just came to me very weirdly, because I was on this like oh psychoactive Zemi. Now Zemis are like gods or deities. I think that's how you say it. In yeah. Puerto Rico, you know, and El Pana just means the homie in Puerto Rican. So it was like. Okay, psychoactive Zemi, El Pana. I was like, nah, fuck. I was like, El Pana. <laughs> that was like acronyms and shit. I was like, all right, go with that. Like, but I'm sure, like, I'm going to find another meaning to the past thing. But that's how it kind of, like, came about. Right. And, like, you know, and it was it was a trip. The like, distribution, did you learn that from Slums and stuff like that? Or yes, yourself? Yeah, yes. that's what I'm saying. Like, so that, that's another. Slums. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, like when I drop something or whatever, like, you know, the Haas drops something, when the band drops something, whenever we drop something, like, I'm going to run to Slums. Like, yeah, like, you know, I did do this, he, or like, I did do this. He, like, he was the one who he's started. He's a mastermind like, behind that. Yeah, like, he he's taught me a lot. Like, now and during these days that we've met up. Right. He's been showing me like the business side to things, like the exactly. the the license, the licensing. I had to look that up myself, but I started asking him more on it. I was like, "Yo, like, what is this about?" Like, and he was very like educating me on it, like, you know, uh, like, oh, how how we can get royalties, how we can get paid, like, all these things, and uh, yeah, he he really fucking like helped out. If it really wasn't for slums. Like Slim to say it's Melio. I could even say everybody in the empty lot. I don't even Probably. think Pazzo Bana would have really gone to the extent it did, you know? Yeah. Because they kind of gave me that push. Whenever I would do something, they'd be like, oh, you know, another take or something. And some would break it down and be like, it's because I know that you can do so much better than this. Mm. And that's why I'm pushing you to do it, you yeah. know? Like, and that made me feel like fuck you know like one and another thing uh about a year ago i want to say a year ago or a little bit more i w me and and some sage crashed this thing called band camp or something we somehow got invited to it when it was like only like oh like only a certain amount of people are able to actually attend this like bands and everything we went there because we got invited because we did an open mic somewhere and they were like, yo, if you guys want to come out to this thing, like, let me know this guy. I forgot the guy's name, but... Well, we, LA or? No, here in San Diego. Okay. It was at the Harp and right in front of uh, this, some bar, I don't yeah. know. And it was right there and we went and we had like pass, like a pass for it and they were showcasing music. So we had a song called Game Plans. Ridiculous song. <laughs> That song was like, you know, we're like, we're going to show this song to everybody. Like, they gave us that chance, you know? So I, we had to go there for like three days or whatever. But when it, that day came, we showed our song. And this was in front of like some, it was like the like CEOs of big labels, of band labels, of like even fucking, right. I can't say it because I know I get sued, <laughs> but big labels kind of like, yeah, of which you have to bands, do, yeah, like rock, metal, pop, everything right. that they had. And we were the only hip hop, I, and the song is with reggaeton, it has a reggaeton to it. So it was like, we were like the only like, you know us there like it was like oh like our only sort of genre in there yeah so we showed the song and people fucked with it and the ceos and of the labels they're like so where's the clean version <laughs> i was like well what the fuck you mean the clean version and like and they're like this song is so good the production is insane yeah it's, it was slums produced it and he was uh they were like you know what like all this needs is a clean version because it's explicit and Fuck, we, could, do that we shit? could get that we could get that on the radio and we were like yeah for what the fuck like, i know. You know like we had that never really happened that's why i haven't got yeah. signed is because we're fucking custom much on this podcast <laughs> maybe maybe that's like fuck, <laughs> fuck the sorry, labels so much <laughs> fuck the distribution no i'm yeah. just kidding we need you guys we yeah, do need you guys it was it was it was very cool and that day somebody happened to be in that audience and was like yo what's your name Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's Paz, you know, Elpana. I let this one fly so that way I can tell you. I actually enjoy that shit, like the airplane, because it gives me a break, it gives me something to think about. So for me, it's good. Yeah, hell yeah. 
Once again, shout out to all you guys for listening to the IE Podcast, episode 118. Thank you for tuning in. It's Paz Alpana. Shout out to Tony Slums. We had to do this. Had to get out. Had to get out the house for a little bit. The reason why I'm doing it outside is because uh, studio. I don't want to be inside the house. I don't want to be inside the house. I'm going to try something different. So I'll probably coming to you. Whoever wants to come on the podcast, let me know. I think I got a whole new setup, which is weird. You're the, you're the guinea pig for right now, for today. Dude. We'll see how it turns I, I, out. Guinea pig for fucking slums with new shit. <laughs> <laughs> but episode 118, like I told you before, I wanted to do it myself. I was like, let me try and see if I got it by myself still. Yeah. I don't know if I do or not, but it's very relaxing. You know what I mean? I'm good right now, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this lady came up to me and she was like, so what's your name? I was yeah. like, Paz El Pana. And she was like, you know, my son, I used to call him Paz. I was like, oh. You know, I didn't really think much. A of random it. lady in LA coming Ra- to No, you? at that thing. Yeah. Oh, we're sending And yeah. she was like, you know, what you did up there it was very dope. Like, it was very cool. And she was like, you know, I used to call my son Paz. And I was like, oh, you know, like, that's cool. You know, like, it's very interesting. She was like, you know, he passed away like a year ago. I was like, oh, shit. You know, like, and she was like, and it's so dope to see somebody, you know, like called Paz, you know, and your, you know, the things Paz is a part of, but it's very dope, you know, like keep doing what you're doing because what you're doing is very cool. Yeah. It's very like, you know, like you, you, you one day you'll make it. And I, when I, when I heard her say that, that was even before conscious ignorance, that was before everything. That's, That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. That was to be the honest. last thing I ever expected. Yeah. And it actually made me. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. We're almost. Yeah, oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, yeah. No, it's about an hour in already. So, but uh, it made me feel very good. Yeah, yeah. It made me feel like, yo, I really gotta go in on this. I really, yeah, I really do. Because yeah. if someone tells me that, and I back out now. What was the like? Well, you know, really, what was the point of her telling me something like that, you know? Like, it wouldn't have been worth it in a way. I mean, it would, but, like, it was, like, when she said that, it was, like, I really got to go in on this shit. Like, people are really fucking with this. And this, it was outside of the valley. We're in San, I was in San Diego. It's, like, people fucking with this shit. Yeah, random, dude. And something like that really gave me the inspiration and motivation to even keep going. So, yeah, it was, it was very interesting, you know? And now I'm at this point, you know, I've released two days. I have a couple upcoming projects that are just fucking like great. Sorry, I didn't go to me to cuss, but No, it's all right, just, man. I Fuck it, dude. We're already, it's already. Very, very crazy. My whole, con- my whole fucking yeah. episodes are a bunch of me cussing. Uh, Everybody cussing, but whatever. Yeah, man. This is not NPR. So, yeah, it's freaking crazy. Yeah, dude. But anyways, like I said, like this whole interview this whole thing the reason why you're on here is because you're working you know what I mean and I was like dude let's pass fucking come on let's promote the album let's talk and because you've really been out there the story was with you with the live shows the, the records and all that you have been working man I was like man let's, yeah. let's do it man I was like I'm down like and plus I want to do something you know yeah man <laughs> it's like fucking like, let me fucking release yeah, the episode that yeah it's crazy it's crazy like you know still working even though I already got all this other shit locked in yeah it's like there's still more more to come are you dropping any more for the rest of the year or are you done oh no that? yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, you oh, done there, there is there is there i can give you at least the title of the next one what is it <laughs> break is open it? your head break open your head break nice open your head. That's the next title. All right, we'll talk about it next time you come yeah, on. Yeah, man, likely. that shit. All I gotta say is that that one, every, like, there's that one. There's another one, and hoping for the last one in December. So it's gonna be each month. You know, yeah. nobody else knows this shit, but now you know. Like, you know, so hold me up to it. <laughs> so, all right, hell yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. So. So where can you find all your music at, man? Uh, know, so you can past. find all my music everywhere. You can yeah. find it on iTunes, Spotify, uh, fucking Title, the uh, Deezer. I don't really, I don't even know who uses Deezer, but Deezer, Audio Mat, all those things. You know, SoundCloud. The two days is eh, not even on SoundCloud, but it's gonna be today. I'll do it like, yeah. or later. I don't know when I get back in the valley. Yeah. But yeah, it, uh, it's under Paz, so it's P A Z, and then space and then l so like el space <laughs> and then p a n a 
Pana. So Paz El Pana. You can find me on social media. You can find me on on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, fuck yeah, dude. Well, thanks for stopping by, dude. Thanks for oh, coming through the podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thanks Wherever, for you know, fucking for having getting me some here, fresh you know, air. Thank, thanks Finally. for thanks for <laughs> us doing this shit and getting recorded. I like the last one. <laughs> I know, right, dude? Yeah, th- this is a you know third time, maybe second time we recorded. Yeah, and, and that, finally got you know we wanted your episode to be you know so low, and I was like, fuck yeah, yeah let me let me do like, what we got to do. So yeah, and oh, yeah. Oh, I just want to say one last thing. Hit it up. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this shit. Nah, man. You no, guys, it really it really nah. is because if it wasn't for the I eight music shows yeah. that I went to in the beginning, if it wasn't for us linking up for that crazy ass brawl that happened, remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was dude. crazy. But <laughs> if it really wasn't for all that stuff, yeah, I wouldn't had that click or inspiration in me to. I wouldn't even have got involved in the scene. Yeah, I, that none of that would have happened. And it goes likewise though, man. Y'all, you guys inspired me too yeah, though. Man, like I see you guys dropping music, you, I'm like, you fuck. really like you. I suck. Nah, you don't <laughs> suck, bro. You, no, fucking around. you really, you really made like made made it possible for like a lot of us. Yeah. Even though like it may not seem that way, you really did. Thank I, you, bro. You guys are like, like that's yeah, man. It goes, like, it goes vice versa with everybody else, man. Because so I'm very, I'm very grateful. Thank you, brother. For, for you, dude. <laughs> nah, man. Keep listening, yeah. music, man. Keep listening, music, and I'm gonna keep listening, dude. And yeah, we're gonna be kicking it around, and which is awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thanks, dude. Check out the iPodcast. Uh, iPodcast.com. Yeah, iPodcast. Yeah. Sentila Carnival. Stay Sony Slums. Slums. And, uh, yeah. Slums. We're probably going to be sitting now and we're about to oh, cut also this off. Oh, so shout out to uh, Trash Mob. I just want to say that. Yeah. Bless, Bless you. you. <laughs> Bless you. But yeah, uh, shout out to all them. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Stay safe yeah. from Corona. Peace out, dude. <laughs> all right. Later, Later man. Yo, dope, just do it there on my dope platform. So, got a defiance, one of them all. But, cause I've been getting go S out for triple machine. Can't go sleep, put in work into the pay me slowly. Take over your country, plan out your tactics. What is your strategy? Have not reached my peak? Energy level like a vessel addict. I'm on Everest, the OS on the crest on the bottom. Take a piss on your residence. Uh.